Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. We're just gonna jump right into this video. I don't know about you guys, but after being home all summer long, stuck in the house 99.9% .9 of the time, this area has gotten really just dirty and there's just a bunch of junk toys um, that have piled up in here. So we just need to quickly just go through all of my daughter's bins and clear out any toys that are broken or just stuff that we don't need. Um, her bins are overflowing and I just need to really go through them. So if you need that motivation to go through your kiddos toys, pump. I'm going to pump up the music and let's clean together. So first I am going through each of her bins. All of the gray bins in her little toy area, they are from um, Target. They're pretty affordable. The wicker, the large wicker bins, she has two in this area. Those bins are from Hobby Lobby. So if you guys are in the market for bins, I like these because I can wipe them down. It's not like a cloth. And she pulls on them, slams them on the ground. They don't break or crack or anything like that. So as you can see, I'm just going through each of the bins and wiping them out. I don't know when was the last time I wiped them out, but it's been a while. So I'm wiping everything out and just taking out any toys that I think will better be suited for the garage or that I just need to give away. My daughter, all of her things are labeled, and even though she's not proficient in reading, the buckets are always in the same area, so she knows where to put everything. So the little small containers on the bottom are color pencils, um, crayons, and chalk. The bigger bins, I have a book bin. The book bin, I change out the books to go along with the season. If there's a special holiday, I make sure to have those books in there as well. In addition to that, I like to have multicultural books just always rotating throughout her bookshelf. Um, she has books that are up in her room. We have a ton of books. But for my children, I have always had books so they can be exposed to different cultures. So Asian culture, Spanish culture, um, their own culture, they are mixed. So African American culture. I have always, as a mom, I want my kids to look in stories and have pictures that look like them, and then also look through books and have read stories of people that look different. That has just always been really important to me. But um, as you can see, I'm just going through her books and straightening those up. I'm wiping down each of the shelves. I am just using my Mrs. Myers um, all-purpose cleaner to do that. Uh, which I just love the smell. This one is in the basil scent. The basil and the mint are my absolute favorite. Uh, but after I wipe down all the shelves, I am putting everything back. Um, puzzles, I keep three, actually there's probably like four or five puzzles in there, but just I was just making sure that they all had their pieces and that they were all in good repair. And then Legos, Legos and magnets are mixed. And then we have, we have a ton of Legos in the garage as well. Next, I'm gonna go through her little kitchen area. I was on the hunt, she got this for Christmas last year, for something that was like really small since it was gonna go down here, and something that had kind of bells and whistles. So her microwave works, the burners work, which I think are which I think is really cute. But um, this play kitchen is from Amazon and it was really affordable. It was probably like $109, somewhere around there. And she absolutely loves it. And I love it because it's small and it's compact and it fits in this area. Her Elsa castle um, is actually from one of my girlfriends. Her name is Jessica. And she got her this Elsa castle. So she, Brooklyn absolutely loves it. She has all of the Elsa figurines and she loves playing with it. Her easel, which you'll see better in a, in a minute, that is also from Amazon. And then her table is also from Amazon with the chairs. 
they are sold separately which is also from Amazon with her rug as you can see we like a lot of Amazon stuff if you are new to my channel I decorate her area is pretty neutral right now but I decorate it for each of the holidays so she will have fall and Halloween decor in this area when I start decorating for those uh, times of year. So I like to change out her little garland so it is it reflects whatever season we, we are in and I like to change out um, just the things that are out on her table. But right now for the summer season I have like her neutral decor out but once the holidays I start decorating for the holidays I will change all of those out. And then on her easel they have it came with these little tubs on the bottom. On the other side of this easel is a chalkboard that she loves to use and this is a a white erase board and it's also a magnet board but there's also paper that she pulls down and she can color and do whatever on that but I keep a lot of her art supplies in here so stamps coloring books she has coloring pages all of that stuff and I'm just going through because she saves everything that she draws and colors and scribbles on so I'm just going through all of that stuff and discarding anything that I don't um, that can be thrown away and then some of the toy things putting them into the garage and my little tip is I do this during her nap the TV is on because my oldest son is watching TV but my daughter is napping because she would literally want to keep everything I love cleaning going through her toys because she will play with things that she hasn't played with in forever because they were on the bottom of the toy bin or the bottom of the toy box so I love going through straightening things up putting some things away in the garage and um, she's discovering her same old toys and thinking they're new again. the rug but I just washed it the day before um, and I always let it air dry like I said I picked this rug up this rug up from Amazon it's super fluffy and Brooklyn loves it in her little play area but um, now I'm just getting everything put back um, this is probably the last deep clean of this area that I'll do I mean we straighten up and all that stuff but the last deep clean I'll do before I deep clean before which I'm super duper excited about. So I'm just gonna go through in this area. I always vacuum it. Um, I probably have to do that at least once a week or a few times a week. Um, just vacuum the area. The rug is absolutely great, but it holds a multitude of sins. Like you don't know what's in there. So I'm gonna go through, vacuum the rug, and then we will put everything back. Um, let me know down in the comments below what area of your kids room that you are currently cleaning right now I would love to know maybe you're cleaning their play area if you only get Through one bucket a day one bucket a day adds up and eventually you'll have the area cleaned up so Take baby steps me during nap I just tried to bust this out and clean this area quickity split but do what you can so one bucket a day, the next day go through another bucket and declutter it. Every day you will feel that much better because you have cleared a space in your home. So me putting everything back, like I said, this is kind of the neutral decor that's always in this space. And that's her little easel. She painted this picture. But I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed this speed clean of my um, toddler's 
play area, please give it a thumbs up. And I can't wait because the next time you guys probably see me clean this area, at least a deep clean, that will be with my her new fall decorations. Mm -hmm.